Hi guys, so this is my review for the Benefits The Real Mascara. This is what it looks like. It's um, by Benefit, like I said. And um, this is the wand. It's like a... Oh, it has a lot of... Ma this one I just bought yesterday, so it's like brand new. This is what the wand looks like. It's like... I don't want to say spiky, because it sounds kind of... Uh, sounds kind of painful, but it has like these little very precise like little spikes on it and I cannot say enough good things about this mascara um I've tried a lot of different mascaras I've tried um all the covergirl ones like the lash blast ones which aren't bad but I mean just once as I started using this one like they just went out the window um because the lash blast ones, they stay on. I don't know if maybe it was my eyeliner or if it was that, but down my bottom lashes, um, it would really get underneath my uh, eyes a lot. And, I mean, it did work really well on my lashes, but just like the staying power, I didn't think it was that w that good. And I've tried other high-end um, uh, mascaras. I've tried the Urban Decay mascaras. I've tried... Um, a Japanese brand. It's at Sephora. I've tried that one. It actually looks like this. It's oh, it's the Fairy Drop Scandal Lashes. Um, the packaging is really pretty, which is why one other reason why I got it. And also, um, someone I watch on YouTube, Miss Glamorazzi, she recommended this because um, she she's not being like racist, I guess, or anything, but. She's part Asian and she says that like Japanese brand mascaras are really good because um, some, not everyone, but some Asians, they have like uh, short lashes and it's hard to get them to curl and this was supposed to be like a really good uh, mascara brand since it's Japanese and um, I thought, you know, if you have hard lashes to curl, this would be a really good one so I thought, ooh, well since it's good for like hard to curl lashes, maybe like easy curl lashes, it would work well too. I don't know. It wasn't bad or anything, but it just wasn't like, I didn't like put on, I was like, oh my gosh, or anything. Like, it was a good mascara, but I wouldn't say that it was anything compared to the Benefits one. This one is seriously, I absolutely love it. Like, between the formulation and the staying power, I really like it. And it's not even waterproof, like, but it stays on so well. Like, I put it down here on my bottom lashes. And it doesn't, like, go underneath my eyes or anything. Like, it doesn't run off. And it was really windy today, too. And uh, my eyes were watering really bad. And it didn't go off or anything. Like, it's still on there. My eyelashes are, like, very defined. And, like, you can see, like, how curly they are and everything. And I really like nice, bold, like, big, like, kind of glamorous-looking lashes. Like, because I do... I don't really do, like, showy, flashy makeup. So, I just, like... My eyes are like my main focal point of my makeup like that I actually like work on a lot. And this, I seriously love like the first time I tried this because you know, you hear things and you think, oh, what's the hype about it? But um, this is definitely worth the hype. Like everyone was talking, like, oh, this is just amazing mascara. And I've tried a lot of products that everyone says is amazing. But I tried this and... I put on one eye and I was seriously like, I looked in the mirror, I was like, oh my gosh, because it was seriously just, I was like, wow, and like, I, I'm very picky with my eyelashes, like, how they, how they're like shaped, how they like flare out and everything, like, just how they look overall, and this like hits it like on point how I want my eyelashes to look all the time, and I don't know, I could say so many things about this, I just really love this mascara, um, it is a little bit more pricier. I think it's maybe in like the 20s or something. I'm not sure. I can't remember prices for anything unless I have it written down. But um, yeah, I really, really like this mascara. It's worth the price. I had a mascara, like the last one, um, before I bought my new one for probably about almost a year. Like I got around... The time I was going to prom, which was about April or May, around those times. And it is February now, and I just bought a new one, which I probably still could have used my old one a little bit more. Whenever the old one, like, it was empty and, like, barely anything in there, it seriously still did the job. Like, it got the job done, which does not occur a lot in mascaras, and they dry out really easily, too. 
last almost a year but you can feel a big difference between like one that you've used and like a brand new one like you can feel like there's product inside of here this one's empty like I've used this one up like so you use it up it doesn't dry out easily um it's really cute packaging which I reminds me of like I don't know it just makes me think of like something from like the 60s like a little like I don't know, I'm like a big, like huge, like history nerd or whatever. I lo absolutely love history and my room and everything is 1960s themed. So I feel like a lot of stuff I can see 1960s stuff in it. But like just like the shape of it, like just reminds me of like some kind of like mod like 1960s party. Like just like the shape and the angles and like it's shiny and everything, which I love shiny things. So, and just like the writing on it is just so cute. It's really shiny. I don't know if you can, there you go. It's just so cute and like, I don't know. And they're real because your lashes look so good that people are going to think they're fake. But no, they're real. So, yeah guys, that's it for my review on the Benefits The Real Mascara. Um, it's really good. I really like it. The formulation and the lasting power is awesome. It lasts you a really long time. And the brush is amazing. Like, it's not bristly and thick. I know a lot of people think it looks fluffy. But when you look at it closely, like, it's very defined and very, like, it's just amazing. Like, it gets all your lashes. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoy that. And like this video, subscribe to my channel, and also go and like my Facebook page and leave any, like, comments down below of what, what you would like to see me, like, uh, do for my next video, I guess. And I'll see you all later. Bye!